What's going on comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today we're going to go down the custom bind journey again. Uh, I got a new haul two weeks ago and I'm looking, I've been rereading all the books or reading them for the first time if I hadn't read these series before. And today I wanted to talk about Catwoman. The recent Catwoman bind I got, I had made. Uh, this collects the Joel Jones run in the DC Rebirth era um, of the comic book universe. Uh, in DC Comics. Um, very, very exciting book. Uh, amazing, incredible artwork. Uh, and my really my first Catwoman bind. I think it's the first Catwoman hardcover I have, period. I don't think Catwoman has very many hardcovers. Um, but there's a lot of fun stuff happening into this book, so we'll do the whole top-down view, look at the binding, uh, things I would have done differently, etc. Uh, before we get into that, though, subscribe and and in case you're wondering, we do have a giveaway coming up soon. We're almost at 10K subscribers. And once we hit 10K subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway, technically two giveaways. The first giveaway will be the Uncanny X-Men Volume 4 Omnibus, the regular standard cover. That'll be given away. Anyone who's subscribed to the channel has the opportunity to win. So if you haven't subscribed already and you're interested in the opportunity to win that book, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. And once we hit 10K, we'll be giving that book away. Um, and another book we're going to be giving away is the same omnibus, the Uncanny X-Men Volume 4 omnibus, but with a DM variant. And the DM variant is going to be given away if you are a subscriber and you have emailed us at thehardcovercomic at gmail.com with a receipt of a purchase you have made through organicpricebooks.com, our sponsor, our lovely, lovely, lovely sponsor. Um, you know, there are a lot of troubles going on that are COVID related with comic books and uh, making sure books are in stock, especially in particular when we're talking about Omnis, Absolutes, and Deluxe Editions. Thankfully, Organic Price Books is a great, great place to look for purchases uh, for graphic novels that you may not be able to find anywhere else for great, great prices. Um, they're expanding week by week. They're getting better and better discounts month by month. Um, you can pre-order on there. You can purchase already released books. You can see what's on back order, what's coming up. Um, a really, really fantastic, fantastic website. Really quick shipping. Um, really fantastic packaging. And with the link down in the description below, uh, you'll get an extra $2 off. It'll take you to the website. You add whatever you want to your cart. And at checkout, that discount code, code will be provided to you. And once you've done that, just send us an, an order confirmation, whatever it is, something to let us know that you have actually made the purchase. And you'll be entered into this Uncanny X-Men Volume 4 DM variant drawing, uh, a very expensive book, a very sought after book. So that's that. Um, fantastic stuff. Check out Organic Price Books. Check out our Patreon if you're interested in the opportunity to win a brand new omnibus or hardcover or deluxe edition or absolute editions. At the end of every month, we do a drawing. Every dollar we get is what we give into the drawing. So very fun stuff happening there as well. Now, without further ado, let's dive into Catwoman. <laughs> Taking a quick look at the spine here first. I chose the black text and I'm doing the lines on the tops and bottoms here. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I was able to get most of the creators on the spine too, which is always good. Um, so this purple, I'm kind of conflicted on because it matches the series, but I do kind of wish it was a bit more bolder. It's a, it's a little pale, but I like it. It's still a really nice color. I don't know what like the color number is, but basically if you go on Lehman Book Bonding's website, go to their color chart, it's like the only purple option there. So that's the one. Um, it's really nice. I like it. I also used it on House of Whispers. I think it looks really good good on there. Um, the binding on this is pretty good. The The pages are, you know, it takes probably uh, a, a good couple issues before it stays open on its own. Granted, I haven't really worked these in too much. Um, I'm sure the slightest bit of pressure would make it stay open. Uh, that's usually the great thing about these custom binds is that they do stay open relatively well. Um, I was really into the variant covers with this title too, so eventually they those turned into cardstock. And with cardstock, you're always going to have trouble. It's always going to be sort of uh, erect, if you will, whenever you're reading the book. It's what it is. You just got to hold it down a little bit and be a little patient. Uh, all I know is those variants were definitely worth it. Uh, DC has been killing it on the variant game, I must say, particularly on Catwoman while Joel Jones. A lot of uh, art germ covers. Fantastic, fantastic stuff, I'm sure. Uh, I'll fly. I'll come across some here. There we go. 
very nice stuff. But the series itself, so Joel Jones's run ran for about 22 issues. Um, a, a great, great run. There were some issues in between with with Ram V as the writer, some one shots. Uh, a really, really fun, fun ride. Uh, Catwoman has sort of uh, relocated a little bit, um, and she's really doing her own thing. She's you get to you get introduced to a, a whole new cast of characters, um, and Joel Jones really does a lot uh, to to change Selena Kyle's life. Of course, all of this is happening as well, along with um, you know in the background there are little things being mentioned about. Tom King's uh, workings on the Batman title and what's happening with Catwoman there. Um, so it, it, it was kind of cool, nice to see that as well. Uh, the story felt very mature, and for me, the only Catwoman I've read prior to this was the uh, Ed Brubaker run, which I absolutely loved. Um, and what was really great about that run was the spectacular artwork, and let me tell you, the Joelle Jones run is uh, fantastic, fantastic as well. She does a lot of artwork for, for the issues, um, and then Fernando Blanco does a whole bunch of the other issues. He is excellent. I believe he's still doing it with Ram V currently. Um, but yeah, yeah, a, a really great read. I I don't know why I wanted to get into this. I, I really like Joel Jones's artwork, um, and it was an excuse for me to start reading Catwoman, uh, and, and I, I really liked it. It's definitely, you know, not as good as the Ed Brubaker run, which was uh, spectacular. Um, and far longer lived, which may have, you know, helped make its case. But, uh, you know, the Joel Jones run is excellent. I highly recommend checking it out. It's, uh, you know, it might be a little challenging for new readers uh, on the title. Um, I, I had someone else also reading the title at the same time as I was getting the issues, and uh, and they were slightly confused. They they had to ask me questions about what was going on, even in general in the DC universe. So um, it may be a, a touch confusing if you're not even remotely aware of what I may have insinuated earlier when I said stuff happening in Tom King's book. But uh, I digress. Um, this is a pretty thick bind, um, and there is a, the tiniest bit of gutter loss. Um, Again, there there are you know there are cardstock covers in here, and, and the problem is that those need a little more glue. They need a little more security. Uh, that's that's something I think I, I can't mention enough um, is to just be a little cognizant of that when you're getting uh, you know covers that 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 are made out of cardstock. Um, you can sort of see here like it, it just sort of pops up, um, and and you just have to deal with it. But it's such a great cover. It's so worth it. Um, yeah, uh, I'm pr probably just going to flip through some covers here. So there may be minor spoilers. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try not to stay on the last spoiler page for too long. Just give a quick flash of the artwork in the book. Um, I, I highly recommend... Oh, this was a really cool cover. I'm so fixated on these covers because they're great. David Finch cover, and it had sort of a little dual cover action going on here. Um, I really like that, and I'm glad that uh, Lehman did not you know, somehow ruin this. Uh, as it happens sometimes, but um, a really, really great bind. I highly recommend checking this series out. It's fantastic, and Ram V's continuation since then has been excellent as well. What do you guys think? Have you read Catwoman by Joelle Jones? The only other Catwoman run I've read is Ed Brubaker's. I really, really love Ed Brubaker's run. I wish I could custom bind it, or I wish DC would release official Omnis for it. I'm really excited to see what Ram V does with the title now that he's taken over it. I am still collecting Catwoman in single issues. I will continue to bind it because she will now be a character that I bind, I think, moving forward. Uh, very, very fun stuff happening there. Check out Organic Price Books if you haven't already. They are part of our 10K giveaway. Way. They're an incredible, incredible sponsor of the channel. There's a link down in the description below. If you use that link at checkout, you will get an extra $2 off your order and you will be supporting the hardcover comic, us as a channel. It's really, really awesome if you could do that for us. And whatever you order, send that order confirmation to us at thehardcovercomic at gmail.com and you'll be entered in our 10k subscriber giveaway for the Uncanny X-Men Volume 4 Omnibus DM variant cover. Very fun stuff happening. That was a mouthful and I'm glad I got it out without choking. Uh, so please, please check out organicpricebooks.com. Subscribe as well. We are doing a regular 10k giveaway once we hit 10,000 subscribers. Very exciting stuff going on. Uh, please Check out Organic Price Book and some of our other videos. If you're into custom binds, please send us your pictures of your custom binds so we can showcase them on future live streams. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Until next time, you stay classy, Internet.